Welcome back to the news in details. President Albert Fateh Sisi met on Monday head of the Greek Kopluzos Group for Infrastructure, Mr. Dimitris Kopluzos, with the attendance of Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli and Minister of Electricity and Renewable Energy Mohamed Sheker and a number of senior officials of the Greek group. Presidential spokesperson Councillor Ahmed Fahmi said that during the meeting, the President was briefed on the developments of the Gregi project for electricity linkage with Europe, especially with the success of listing this project on top of the list of Egypt's projects of mutual interest with the European Union to pave the way to start the upcoming stage of the project. President Sisi also stressed Egypt's keenness on turning into clean energy to achieve economic and environmental benefits. The head of state also hailed the cooperation between Egypt and Greece in all fields, which reflects the strong relations between the two countries. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri was in Brussels on Monday heading Egypt's delegation to the 10th Egypt-European Union Partnership Council, co-chaired by the top diplomat and the EU foreign policy chief, Josep Borrell, due to kick off on Tuesday. This meeting gains a special momentum marking 20 years since the partnership agreement came into effect between both sides, which organizes bilateral cooperation in different fields. The meeting also comes in the framework of the regular follow-up of the agreement's implementation, benefiting from an ambitious priority document inked by the two sides from 2021 till 2027. The Council is due to sign a framework accord allowing Egypt to make the best use of the European Union's technical programs, especially in the education and scientific research fields. Foreign Minister Semeh Shukri on Monday called on the European Union to pump more investments in Egypt, benefiting from the country's comprehensive development drive, which aims at turning it into a regional hub for industry, trade and energy, and an important supply chain for services and products. The minister made these remarks in a business breakfast organized on the sidelines of the 10th Egypt-European Union Partnership Council in Brussels in the attendance of the EU foreign policy chief, Josep Borrell. Shukri hailed the deeply rooted ties binding Egypt with the European Union on different fronts, including the political, economic, security and cultural levels, saying he is looking forward to a greater and active partnership, participation rather, by European corporations in the coming investment conference due to be held by Egypt later this year. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri affirmed on Monday that any proposal for post-crisis Gaza without stipulating an immediate stoppage of Israeli occupation hostilities will be deemed a mere theoretical tackling of the crisis. The minister made these remarks in a meeting with his Saudi and Jordanian counterparts in the attendance of the Arab League Secretary General Ahmad Abu Ghid and the European Union's foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell on the situation in Gaza and efforts for containing the aggravating humanitarian crisis there. Shukri noted that a sustainable solution to the current crisis will not be realized, but for the support of international community, including the European Union, in order to enforce the two-state solution in line with international laws in a set timeline and along the 1967 borderline. The top diplomat warned that the Israeli intended targeting of civilian pa Palestinians in Gaza and the sporadic devastation of its infrastructure will put the entire region into unaccountable repercussions and directly threaten the world's peace and security. Foreign Minister Semeh Shukri held a series of meetings in Brussels on the sidelines of the 10th Egypt-European Union Partnership Council. The minister reiterated Egypt's firm position regarding migrant and refugee issues, having comprehensively tackled the phenomenon on all its different aspects, seeking to solve it from its roots. The top diplomat made the remarks in a meeting with the EU Commissioner for Migration and Home Affairs, Eva Johansson. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri met the European Commissioner for Crisis Management Janis Lenarsic, calling on key international parties to adopt decisive stances regarding a ceasefire agreement in Gaza. 
being the only means to contain the humanitarian crisis in the war torn strip. Shukri urged the top EU diplomat to build on previous stances towards alleviating the humanitarian suffering of Palestinians and bar Israeli occupation attempts to vacate Palestinians from their lands. The meeting also touched on coordinated efforts for increasing the volume of humanitarian aid provided for Gaza residents, as well as regional tensions arising from the Gaza war, such as the Red Sea security. Separately, Foreign Minister Shukri held talks with the EU Commissioner for Energy, Qadri Simpson, and reviewed Egypt's progress in the field of renewable energy projects with the cooperation of several European firms. The top diplomat pointed out to the current cooperation between Egypt and Greece in the energy field and to cooperation among participants in the East Mediterranean gas program. Meeting with the EU Commissioner for Climate, Egypt's top diplomat highlighted the state's crucial role in pushing forward the climate international agenda over the past two years, especially during its presidency of COP27 and its promising outcomes. Shukri stressed Egypt's keenness in boosting coordination with the 27-nation bloc after COP28 to assure achieving its outcome and to provide a suitable international environment to bring into effect a fair energy transition period the 2015 Paris Accord. The Foreign Minister also met with the EU Commissioner for Economic Affairs, Paolo Gentilini, on enhancing bilateral ties and increasing European investments in Egypt being a top priority for the two sides, in addition to preparations for the National Investment Conference and boosting the Egyptian project's access into European markets. Foreign Minister Semesh Shukri on Monday called on the European Union and all international parties to end the Israeli occupation violations and military attacks against Palestinians in both the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. He added that a ceasefire will not be enforced without an international pressure on the Israeli occupation military. The minister's remarks came during a meeting with his Spanish counterpart, where they discussed the deteriorating conditions in the war-torn Strip and the UN resolutions aiming to ease the sustainable access of humanitarian aid to Palestinians there. Separately, Shukri met his Bulgarian counterpart, Maria Gabriel, where he stressed on the necessity of enhancing bilateral cooperation, aiming at turning the European country into a destination for Egypt's exports and a logistics storage base for Eastern Europe and Balkan countries. Egypt's top diplomat hailed the mutual visits by top officials from both countries and asserted Egypt's keenness on the regular convention of the Joint Cooperation Committee during the Bulgarian minister's upcoming visit to Egypt next February. The foreign minister also held talks with Minister of Foreign and European Affairs of Luxembourg, Javier Betel, expressing absolute rejection of the official and non-official calls by the Israeli side about the evacuation of Palestinians from Gaza to Egypt. He described the ongoing war in Gaza as the latest but not the last round in a long series of Israeli violations against Palestinians' legitimate rights in the occupied territories, pressing for a resumption of the Middle East peace process and a settlement to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict along the two-state solution. Welcome back. In the economic news, Egypt's stock market indices collectively went up in the trading session on Monday after selective purchasing operations by Arab and foreign investment funds reached high rates, exceeding profit-making sales by local investors and investment funds. The benchmark EGX30 index jumped to gain 1.19%. The EGX70 index for small and medium businesses also added 0.12% and the broader EGX 100 index rose by 0.14%. Meanwhile, the market capital of listed companies gained about 18 billion pounds to close at 1 trillion and 979 billion amid deals and transactions of about 16.6 billion pounds.